Malawian President Dr. Lazarus Chakwera has arrived in the country on a two-day state visit that is expected to result in the strengthening of existing diplomatic ties between Harare and Lilongwe. A rousing welcome for a brother with President Emerson Mnangagwa taking time to welcome his counterpart. Zimbabwe is the second country that the Malawian president, who is being accompanied by his wife, Monica Chakwera, is visiting since he was elected head of state on June 28 this year. A lineup of dignitaries that included Vice President, retired General Dr. Constantino Chiwenga, several Zimbabwean cabinet ministers, and ministers from Malawi who traveled ahead of the president's delegation, the Minister of State for Arara Province, Comrade Oliver Chidau, Malawi's top envoy to Zimbabwe, Her Excellency Ambassador Eni Kumwenda, Zanu P of Politburo members, and service chiefs are completed at the welcome party. After the introductions, our President Mnangagwa and his counterpart went through the national anthem formalities before Dr. Chakwera inspected a guard of honor, which was preceded with a 21-gun salute. Zimbabwe and Malawi have had a close relationship for a long time. They share common values, history, and culture. Along with Zambia, the three countries were classified as a single state under the Rhodesia and Nyasaland. Malawi has a considerable large number of Zimbabwean nationals, while Zimbabwe also has a larger Malawian diaspora. Malawian citizens resident in Zimbabwe and Zanupiaf supporters from Arari province livened up the occasion through song while a traditional dance troupe kept off the rousing welcome. Zimbabwe and Malawi collaborate at regional, continental, and international levels through various organizations such as the United Nations, the African Union, the Southern African Development Community, and the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa. President Shakwera, who is 65, beat his predecessor, Peter Mtarika, in the June presidential election runoff, helping the Malawi Congress Party, MCP, to bounce back to power after losing to the United Democratic Front, UDF, under former President Bakili Mulusi in 1994. Janet Munyaka, ZBC News, Harare.